party. Let's create. Welcome to another episode of Hayden's Art Party. Today, we're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff, but we're going to get involved in the new hashtag. Whatever. We're going to get involved making some hearts for our windows to help offer a sense of hope to the people out on walks that we're all in this together. I'm going to do a little bit of some pottery demos with you. We're also going to watch Doodles with Tom where he is upgrading Andrew Z's Mr. Clean character. So you won't want to miss that. I'm speeding on through that halfway through the show and you'll be able to see the fast paced process of digital drawing. But let's get started with a drawing warm up. Today for our warm up, we're just going to do a timed warm up today and I'm going to see what you can create in five minutes. This will be a fun exercise just to push your brain on the spot. I have my beautiful timer right here that I am going to press start on and then we are going to get doodling. And we are counting down. So, let's get drawing. I think I'm gonna draw like one of my crazy characters. So, I'm gonna start off, I usually start off with like a nose, something like that. And let's do like this like, oh, I'm falling type of face. Add some teeth. Let's see what we can accomplish in five minutes of doodling. That's how I always used to draw my teeth when I was younger. And I learned how to draw this tongue off of a t-shirt that I bought when I was in sixth grade. It was this monkey with a tongue like this. So it all, I always thought that that was cool and I've kept repeating it since I was in sixth grade. Then we gotta add some eyes. This person's fallen, so maybe they're like, ah, or we got one eye open, one eye closed or something. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna do like this big crazy eyelid on the bottom, crazy eyelid. And we can change the expression with the way that I have my eyelids on the top. I'm gonna maybe have them like, ah! So we're gonna draw some eyelid action, eyelid action. And I actually stole these eyelids from my favorite TV show, SpongeBob SquarePants. So we have some eyes. Now where's he looking? Let's have him looking at the sky maybe from where he fell. So I gotta, Eye up there, eye up there, with a little dot inside. Fun tip about cartooning is when you have that white dot in there, it shows that your cartoons are alive. And you'll get to see it when I color in these pupils. That, that alive glare is what really kind of gives your characters some life. If they don't have that glimmer in their eye, So we're gonna make sure that they're alive. So he's fallen. We gotta give him some eyebrows, eyebrows, and maybe that area above the eyes. Oh yeah. Now let's do some big crazy ears. If you can't tell, I got holes in my ears that are like actual holes, they're called gauges. I'm gonna give this guy some crazy gauges. He's like an elephant with his huge ear holes. Would you ever wanna do something like that? I don't know. I stopped right here. I thought this was plenty. Add some uh, ears. Now let's do some crazy hair. Oh yeah, and we still, we're halfway through our drawing time. Or let's do, you know what, this could be a hat. Oh yeah. Hat just like what I got going on. And we'll do the live in the dream hat, even though I have a different hat on. L-I-V-I-N. The dream awesome let's see what we got now I'll give him a fate head oh yeah that's a cool looking head right there kind of color in my mouth oh I'll maybe give him that dangler in the back of the throat here we got this guy and what's happening to him maybe he's like oh I'm gonna give him a neck and let's see, I don't know what he's gonna be doing. Let's uh, have him, he's got his arm up. Let's just have him falling from the sky. He's falling. I keep on falling in and out. 
just do some cool arms. And then this arm, you'll be back up for. Let's, uh, let's see what I can do here to raise these levels so you can see my old drawing here. Pull it back. Oh yeah, there we go. Add that body. Maybe his leg is like flying up like this. Oh yeah, add a shoe. I don't know if that's how a shoe will work, be when it's up like that. Maybe I'll give him some lines on the bottom of his shoe. Beautiful Nike swoosh. Oh yeah, he's ready to rock. He's got his leg flat. He is full on falling. Maybe he slipped on a banana. We'll have the banana peel up in the sky. Whoop, I slipped on a banana. It's like Mario. Oh, we only have 16 seconds. I gotta add that other leg. Ooh, let's see if we can make it before the count is over. Can we do it? Eight seconds. Eight seconds, we gotta add that Nike swish. Boom, and let's add that other arm. Two, one. Oh, and our five minute drawing is over. Boo, 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 boo. Let's see what we got. Check it. So this is my guy. He's chilling, he's falling. So it's fun to just do these types of exercises and push yourself outside your comfort zone. Here's my funny banana peel guy. He is ready to fall. So I hope you guys share with me your awesome five minute drawings and we'll see what we can do in the future. Now today, we're going to go to Denver, Colorado and we're gonna watch some doodles with Tom. Tom is ready, he's drawing Andrew Z's Mr. Clean uh, character from the other day. So let's go and see what Tom is up to. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hi Hayden, hi kids. Welcome back to Digital Doodles with Tom. I think you know what we're here for. Today we're gonna to be working on a special kids artwork and we're gonna make it a little cooler. All right, are we ready to find out who won? Or maybe Hayden already told you guys. It's Andrew Z, congratulations Andrew Z. Uh, what we have chosen here is Mr. Clean. Super cool drawing Mr. Clean. If we take a peek in here, guys, we can see Mr. Clean has some hand sanitizer. Mr. Clean has, I believe, some face masks here as well. So Mr. Clean is ready uh, to help everybody stay clean and healthy. This is awesome. Thank you again, Andrew Z. Let's go ahead and get started on making this little guy super cool to fit this superhero. All right.
Thanks a lot, Tom. And actually, happy birthday, Tom. It's Tom's birthday. So everybody wish Tom a happy birthday in the comments and thank him for giving Andrew Z's project a little bit of an upgrade. And we'll make sure to send that out to you, Andrew Z. Whether we just send it to you in the messages or whatever, we'll get you a copy of that drawing. So today, I want us to participate in this kind of new worldwide challenge we have called hashtag a world of hearts. And today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can cut out hearts using construction paper. And then I'm going to let, let you off to your own kind of devices and get making. So the idea behind this is that we're going to start putting hearts on our windows and doors so that the outside world, when they're driving by, walking by, they can feel a sense of togetherness, that we're all in this together and we're all participating in something together. So let's get cutting. So if you've ever made uh, snowflakes before, it's very similar. So the first few I'm going to show you, first I'm going to just kind of get this paper a little smaller for my project. So I got a smaller piece of paper like this. Now to do just a normal everyday heart, we fold it in half. And then on the side where it's bent, there's that, you see the, the binding of what the book would be? We're gonna then draw, oh yeah, you can probably see this, like a candy cane shape, like this. We will then take our scissors, cut that out, and we have a beautiful heart, right? It's that simple. Now, you can really get fancy with these hearts. We can make big hearts, small hearts. I'll do another one where I fold in half, but this one's gonna be a big one. Under. Oh yeah. Better. This is gonna be a bigger heart. Oh yeah, that looks way better. So, once again, I cut that kind of horseshoe shape to make my heart. Now check this out. If I fold it again and in the middle, cut out another one. That is how you make a heart with holes. Check it. That's beautiful. Or what if we even put this one behind it? Oh yeah, that's cool. I might take some glue and glue that together. Here we go. Let's do some glue in. And then glue around that border, maybe. Oh, I think I op left my glue open too long. Handy dandy glue stick. Let's do some glue stick action. Oh yeah, looking good. So let's try another one. I'll actually let that dry and we can do something with that one later. Now to make one where we have like more like a snowflake where we can cut out different designs. We fold in half, then fold in half the other way. So it's folded into four sections. And if you unfolded it, it would look like this. Beautiful. So now on this side right here where it's folded over, not the open side, we want to stay away from the open side. On the closed side, I'm going to cut out my heart shape. But you know what? Let's do a double one. So I'm going to do where they meet kind of in the middle. So I do a loop, loop. And wherever the Sharpie's at, I can always have that be the backside. So something like this. It even kind of looks just like the top of the heart in the corner. I'll then cut around that area. And you don't have to be perfect. You can see mine's got some weird edges. But now we have a quadruple heart, right? And then I think I'm gonna go back in, fold that thing up again, Ugh, however it was folded, let's see, like this. And then we can even cut the insides out again, or let's do two different things. So I'll do the inside on one, there we go, like that. And then on the other side, let's just do some cool like patterns. So I'm gonna just cut out some little triangular shapes off the side and let's see what that ends up looking like. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so sweet. 
check, 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 check it out. Oh yeah, quadruple heart with two different designs. So there's all sorts of ways you can start decorating your hearts. You could even go back in and color your hearts, maybe by adding different, I don't know, like you could do polka dots all over your heart. Ooh, this one will be a polka dotted heart. You got some polka dots, you can kind of see in there. I'm doing some polka dots all around. But I think it would be cooler if we just did tons. Like I want to see windows and doors filled to the brim with these beautiful hearts. Now ask your parents for permission as to how you're going to attach those to the wall. You might have to use uh, clear tape or painter's tape, whatever you want to do. But I want to see all sorts of decorated hearts on your windows and doors. Like, let's maybe even do some of these type of hearts and then upgrade those as well. Now I got a little cutout heart inside the heart. Oh, that's super cool. So you can build up, you learn how to do single hearts, you learn how to do double hearts, you learn how to do snowflake hearts. I wanna see them go crazy. Use all the different colors in the rainbow and really make these things pop. It's nice to all be together on one thing for once. You know, it's, it's kind of hard being stuck inside. Wouldn't you agree? We don't like being stuck inside, even though we get to do all these art projects. So let's give a little bit of hope for the future and let's start making some hearts at hashtag a world of hearts and put your pictures below. We'd love to see your pictures. We're gonna do tons of these over at the Plains Art Museum. So I think it'll be really cool when everybody's got things going on. So thanks for joining me for another episode of Art Hayden's Art Party. I'm gonna play you out with a quick little song and then I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna sing you guys a little song today. I just learned it today, so let's give it our best go. This is called Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. <clears throat> Singing don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be all right Singing don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright I rise up this morning I smile with the rising sun Three little birds are by my doorstep Singing sweet songs of melodies pure and true Saying this is my message to you Singing don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright It's gonna be alright Then don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright It's gonna be alright Don't worry a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. <clears throat> Thanks for watching another episode of Hayden's Art Party. Make sure you click the donate link below. If not, make sure you share, like, comment. Give me your drawings, your hearts, all of those things today. And I will see you again tomorrow at 10 a.m. for another episode of Hayden's Art Party.